gotta have faith. And you can't have faith without work. You can't have work without faith. You gotta have faith in works. We preach every year, you gotta, you gotta cast judgment. Judgment is, is gonna be played out in America, right? And there is mercy. We do have show mercy. You gotta be zealous for the law. You gotta rebuke, right? Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Yahweh Shai. Right, that we may present every man perfect before Yahweh Shai. Right, because, and to add on to that, because like you were saying in the beginning, it was a mystery at, at the beginning. So we didn't understand, we couldn't understand, we didn't know that, uh, we didn't know that Mary did have sex with Joseph. No, but if, if, if we didn't know, if we didn't have this mystery, if we didn't have this understanding uh, now, we'd all die because we because we, we thought we were gonna get into the kingdom of heaven, thinking that the Mosai just like, immaculately concepted uh, Mary. You know, because you're not gonna get in the kingdom uh, thinking that Yahweh Shah is the father, or that Mary didn't have sex. Yeah, that, that yeah, that too. Like saying that uh, Yahweh Shah or Jesus is is a father, and the father is Jesus. That they're one individual. That's a false doctrine. That alone is enough to destroy you. Right? And that's why it says to present every man perfect, because you, you're not, like, like we were telling you, to the scriptures, man, on 1 Corinthians, if you read lower, it tells you, man, that you're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, man, with those with that with those lies in your head. Because, and it even tells you, because we got one third, of, we, we still got, we got the elect, which are the men out here in the house of byways, 12, uh, 144,000. You got the, the one third, which is comprised of mainly uh, women and children. There are going to be some men in there, but uh, it even tells you in the scriptures that they're going to all know this truth when it gets to that point. They're going to all learn, that finally, at one point in time, that what they knew was a lie. So they're not going to go into the kingdom thinking uh, Jesus was white, he had blue eyes, uh, the angels have sex, you know, whatever. They, you're not going to get in the kingdom with uh, false knowledge. You're going to know the truth. That's why it says in John 8, verse 2, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Yahweh Shai says that I am the door, and no man can come come in, but through, can't come to the Father, but through me. So Yahweh Shai is a key. He's a key ingredient into getting into it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? you need. Yep. So Yahweh Shai says I come written in the volume of book, it's written of me. So you got to know him. You got to know this book to the best of your ability, the laws. You know, and, and have these proper breakdowns. And if you don't, have, if you don't know, if you don't understand something, that's where you ask the elders. You email them, leave them a comment. And you ask them, the, the elders, if, if if they find you being sincere, they'll give you the proper breakdown. Or you could, or continue to watch videos, and the brothers, the Lord will, he'll, he'll reveal it through them. It'll always come out. Uh, I got this scripture, Second Peter three, and uh, verse. Uh, I start at verse 14. It says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye be that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Blemish. Yeah. Blameless. Oh, blameless. Oh, okay. And account, and account that the long suffering of, of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also other scriptures unto their own destruction. Mm -hmm. Because two thirds of you are gonna rest to your own destruction if you even get a chance to, or you're just gonna die. But like I said, um, even our dearly beloved brother and Paul, all the prophets throughout the entire bu the book, throughout the entire volume of the book, they're doing nothing but warning you through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's all, that's all it is. A, a history of who you really are to correcting you, to warning you, to getting you right. To present, like we were just reading Colossians, to present every man perfect. Every man that's the elect or the one third. The one third's gonna get bits and pieces of it. They're not gonna get it the way the elect gets it, but they're gonna know, you know? They're gonna right. get this truth. But uh, the reason I brought that out too is that because the, the mystery of the gospel have been hid from generation to generation. So, like the like they said, Paul even wrote, but that uh, 
there's even the, a lot of the people they uh, don't when they read it they read Paul's epistles that they don't even understand it. They wrestle and even to, to their own destruction because this book is not easily contained. You can't easily retain it or you can't easily understand it. It has to be broken down to you. You have to have a teacher too. You got to be taught. That's pro that's the principle. That's a a, a main uh, a commandment by the Lord that you got to be taught by a man that has the truth. And uh, this is Matthew 13 and uh, verse 35. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. So that's why Yahweh Shai was speaking in parables. But he only revealed those parables to his disciples, the elect. He made them plain to them. But to everybody else, it was less. It was left at the, as a mystery. It wasn't for them, unless unless they were elect, they couldn't understand the parable. But one of the apostles came to him and broke it down to him, and they they, they got better understanding. They believed, yeah, yeah. because that's how some of us brothers, a lot of us brothers, came into this truth. We had a, we, were, we heard it from another man. That's all. That's all prophecy too. Like uh, it said in uh, uh, oh, we were reading Hosea, yeah, Hosea, and uh, also another good one is Matthew seven and twenty-one, where it talk or twenty-six, twenty-six, if it goes up that high, where it talks about depart from me, you work of iniquity, for I never knew you, because if it's not for you and you don't get this truth and you die, the Most High, he didn't, you didn't ever know the Most High. Though you were proclaiming throughout your whole life, oh, I know God, I love God, but through your actions and your works, you really did it, and the Most High didn't know you. That's why you died. That you, he well, didn't know you as, as you being the elect. But there are men, they're gonna die as martyrs, but they're gonna get an inheritance. They're gonna get a reward. But we're speaking to y'all, to you two thirds, man. The ones who, the ones we know, man, that we already know, man, you're done. You know, you, you died because you didn't know the, really you didn't know the Most High. The Most High didn't want to know you. Like he was breaking, a, giving an example earlier about, uh, you know, that child didn't want to be under the, uh, under subjection. So he's like, you know, get out of here, then. You don't want to be my son, or I go. You know? And they even have a parable about that in, uh, was it Luke? But that, but those two sons, one of them left off. He didn't want to be, he wanted to go, be wild for a little bit. But at least he acknowledged he repented. But uh, and also the Lord, or in the Book of James, it said that the devils even believe in tremble. They even believe in God, but so for you to believe that there's a God, that's not enough. That's not good enough. That's not enough. So that's where you, you didn't know the Lord. The Lord didn't know you either. The Lord didn't know you as far as you being the elect. He was just like, oh, I don't, you're not the elect, so I don't even know you. And for you to say, you know, I, I know God, well, okay, we'll see. And you know, that's how brothers will observe. Okay, we'll see if you know if you know Yahweh Shai. Because the scriptures say you gotta follow after his footsteps. And you gotta present your body as a living sacrifice. So if you say you believe in God, where are you men at? Why aren't y'all on the highways and the byways uh, putting this truth out and, and trying to uh, deliver your people? Tell, uh, warning them about the sword that's about to come upon America. Why? It's because you uh, two-third uh, Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, false prophet pe preachers, they ain't got the truth. And that's another thing we were saying about earlier about those certain things and it's true. Or certain things that are all like it's like we're messing with the elect. There's certain things you gotta be you gotta be careful. You gotta be extra extra special careful man to say. Because like you said, if, if you really want to say you know God, all right, most sides you're gonna be like, all right, you think you do, but you're gonna die. Because he has he sees your wickedness. Um, had this by you had to follow, follow his footsteps. This is Ephesians uh, 2 and 10. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Yahweh shot unto good works, which the most high had before ordained that we should walk in them. Right, that we he had it or he had it ordained already that we should walk in them. But who can only walk in them? The elect. Only the elect can go into those footsteps. Can only fit in that shoe. Y'all oh, can't fit that shoe. It's just like Alice in Wonderland, if I'm not mistaken. Not, not, not Alice in Wonderland, uh, 
Cinderella, I believe, oh, yeah, where they sure. uh, the, the the missing slipper. Yep. All these different women came in. Our, our, her other wicked sister. She was a poor, yep. a poor little slave servant to that that tyrant woman. And uh, the the prince came back, sent his little eunuch or what have you, to to find a woman that fit the slipper. And all those other women did not fit that shoe size, but that one, Cinderella did. She was the elect. She was that elected one. You know, she only she could fit it. Just like, uh, like the scripture say, just said that it was ordained from the beginning that we should walk in it. Only the elect are ordained. It's only in them to walk in it. You two thirds can't, even though you want to. You want to be part of that. You want to be part of that uh that group, but you can't. You could say it's just like, it's just like uh like if there's a gang in your city. Well, not nah, better yet, like a, a notorious gang, like a real, like the mafia or something, right? Not anybody can be like, oh, I'm part of the mafia, right? Because if you do, you, that those are heavy consequences because you're being a a a, 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 a little a, a, yeah, you're just being a, a what do they call what do they call it? Uh, 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 I forget the term, but it, uh, you know, you're not you're not part of them. You know what I'm saying? You're just you're just claim you're claiming you are, but you're not. You're not actually in it. You're not really in it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all people can say y'all love God, y'all are y'all are y'all are Israelites. But if you're not doing according to what He commands you to do, to walk according to His footsteps, to obey the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, you're not part of it. Man. And even at that, we don't even know we're part of that. None of us men that are on the highways and the byways know that we're part of that. That's but we're racing. That's why we come out and we wear, rehearse the righteous acts, not only out here in our daily lives, to the best of our ability, hoping that we are part of that group. We have more of a chance than these two thirds. The two thirds are sealed up. They're done. Their death, their fate is sealed. They're gonna die in different forms and ways by the sword. But the elect, we don't know who they are. We're just hoping that we are that leg, and we're doing it to the best of our ability. You know, like like a, like a brother said in the camp. He said, um, he's, he, you know, to you people who think you're really the truth, man, or you think you're the elect, or you claim you're the elect or you're saved. He said, uh, let's see then who's gonna be on that chariot riding that day, man. Like let's just see who who gets on that chariot, me or you, you know. 